A warm welcome back to Spectacle Island for episode 14 with me, Mr. Silly P. As is always the case here on Spectacle Island, I'm putting the jigsaw pieces together. Both of these need a bit of repair work, a little bit of love. So what we'll do is a fair bit of love. From here, I need to whiz over to field 10, so I need to finish off the fertilising. The rain is going to come, I'm not quite sure when. It's going to inhibit how we're going to go about if we're going to do any more harvesting, which not necessarily at the moment. Then it's down to the docks to get... What did I get? Conveyor belt. So I can do the... Um, well, so I can move the silage and sell that at the biogas plant. But also, thank you massively for the heads up, Baron Papa. Here on Spectacle Island, I think the price was dropping though. So we might, so we'll be as quick as we can. We'll still get a pretty good price. Oh, that's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. If we go onto our menu here and we go across to our digestate, which we have none of at the moment, but we scroll down. At the slurry yard, the price is 1,186 for a 1,000 litres of... Uh, no, that's the... Yes, it's the slurry yard. I'm thinking, that's a soil milk factory. No, it's slurry yard. So when you think normally, at the biogas plant, um, it's normally peanuts, if, if the biogas plant even takes it. Even though that's dropping, that's still a good price for byproducts. So anything we sell at the biogas plant will get paid for the silage at midnight, which is great but I can also sell the digestate. So today we're looking at revenue streams, I guess. The silage is going to be one, the, the digestate will be another, and then hopefully, before the end of the episode, I'm going to release the pelletizer. We're going to get over to field four, and we're going to get some pellets made. Now, I'm not sure, actually, whether the hayloft will store them. It might do. Plus, with the changes to the RYC120 trailer that we've got, we might be in luck with regards to how I was going to move the silage, because there's now a 250,000 litre version of that, which we have converted over to. Let me just drop the header down. And I have got my osmosis sprayer. There we go. Taking the moisture from the air around me, as it's going to rain. There should be plenty. Now, like I said, right from the very start of this Let's Play, I wanted to just, just kind of do stuff for me. I wanted to try out some different stuff, but I also wanted to show off what was on the map. So the various different things that are on here that I've been doing, some people have liked, some people haven't. It's just the way of the world, isn't it? But uh, I'm just like I say, just doing it for me. Oh, before I forget... Um, at the time of recording this, possibly not the time of posting this, it's Sunday here in the UK. It's Father's Day. So any dads out there, any fathers, or fathers-to-be, I think, as well. Any, any, anyone out there who's going to be a dad soon, for the first time, or second, or third, or whatever it might be. Um, why is my... Oh, there we go. Sorry. Forgot the controls. Happy Father's Day. Plus... Raise a glass to all those absent fathers. And by absent fathers, I'm not raising a glass to dads that leave their, their kids. <laughs> That's not what I mean. Um, I mean like fathers that have passed away. And, you know, my dad passed away. It's knocking on seven years now. And uh, Mrs. Silly P's dad passed away nine years ago. Um, and the time just rocket spikes. I don't need that now. It flies by. So, yeah, raise a glass to any absent fathers. Um... But yeah, if you're a dad, happy Father's Day. I hope your kids bring you all sorts of cool and crazy presents. I'm sure they will. Um, and also, while I'm on that kind of thanking people, uh, a massive thank you to Mark, Stephen, Brian, Andrew, Marina, slash Austin, uh, and Tony, thank you very much for your generosity. Very much appreciated. Thank you very much indeed. So we're going to cross the road bridge, heading out to field 10. Everything's all right with our milk sheep at the moment. I was part way through doing this, and you know, you know how I am. I get a bit sidetracked. 
from time to time. <laughs> so from time to time, a lot of the time. So I thought I'd better get this done. And then this will be ready for seeding, whatever we're going to put in this. I'm Again, I may, because I, in my head, thought this was um, a crop that could be, that you could leave a swath behind, but it was soybean, wasn't it? So you could, and I haven't got much straw left on field four, although I have planted, oh, I did plant barley on, is it barley or oats? One of them on one of the other fields, so potentially that might not be the case. So I'm thinking, do I extend this a little bit, plow it out a little bit more? Actually, it's probably not a lot of room to do that here. And then, do I go for a cash crop? Do I go for a crop that's going to be beneficial to pigs? Because we still haven't got our pigs yet. We're going to be aiming towards getting pigs too. That will be coming. So once this is done, just this strip, I'm going to whiz over. I'll drop off the fertiliser spreader. We'll head down to the docks. We'll grab the... Like I say, I'm just doing the pickup conveyor. And that's because I've in changed the capacity of the trailer. And because I've got... 500 and was it 585,000 litres of silage? I think it was. I had 585. Um, I should be able to move that in pretty much two just over two loads. So rather than having a whole conveyor belt system set up, no, that's someone else's field. Rather than having a whole conveyor belt system set up and running it round in a U shape from the, um, the silage clamp into the cell point of the biogas plant, I'll just use the one conveyor belt. The, the one that I've used a lot and like, I'll say again, for anyone that's new to the, this Let's Play or isn't aware if you've missed me saying it before any of the in-game stuff I don't list, but any of the mods that I'm using I list in the description for the video so there'll be a list there and Top Ace 888 did a root crop storage like, uh, is it root crop silo set or something like that, anyway it's in the description, with that came the pickup conveyor uh, and it, it's brilliant. So I use that all the time. The um, is it SL8022 Quantum, I want to say. I think it is. Off the top of my head. I think people were getting, well, are worried, were worried that I'm just going to keep using the ferry, the, the ferry, but well, it is a ferry, isn't it? The ferry and the um, the boat for doing everything. And, and I'll be honest with you, why not? <laughs> you know? Like I said, when I kind of came onto the map, it's something so different. And you're at that point where you're, you've are you been delivering things by lorry or raw wagon or whatever it might be, in pallets, that kind of thing. Doing it on the boat or doing it by the ferry is, is so different. Why not enjoy that, embrace it and have a go with it? I'm also, oh, if you haven't watched the podcast as well, just to remind you, the um, uh, the podcast by Farming Simulator, the latest one came out on, is it Friday? I think it was Friday. And uh, they were talking about FS22, they were talking about production chains, uh, they were talking about, mm, yeah, contentious issue for me personally. I know I caused a bit of a, mm, bit of a stir and I apologise if I annoyed anyone, but um, it was something I actually, and the problem is, I suppose, because people, if you see a comment and you don't know who I am from Adam, you know, I'm not one of those people walks around and says, you know who I am? Because I'm nothing in the scheme of things compared to, you know, there's YouTubers out there with millions of subscribers and that kind of thing. I'm very, you know, but then compared to a channel that's just starting out, when I was just starting out and you look at YouTubers with 50, 60, 70, 80,000 subscribers, you're like, wow, I, you know, I wish I could be there. Everything's on a scale, isn't it? Um, people are, you know, who's this idiot, you know? But I spoke to Lars about this. A while back, when I was doing the FSL commentating, and I was out at one of the game shows, can't remember which one it was. And this is regarding the collector's edition. So for FS22, they announced there's going to be a collector's edition on PC. And with it, you get a whole load of goodies. And this year, they're doing a beacon, a USB beacon that you plug in. And when you turn your beacons on on the game, the beacon will turn on and, and rotate and flash, which is really cool. Now, I spoke to Lars about this ages ago and said, why has there never been a console special edition? You know, bearing in mind that at that point, I think it was half of, half of the people that buy their game, if not, it was a little bit over half, were console gamers. And this is not a, oh, you know, console gamers complaining. It's a valid question. If you're doing a special edition, a collector's edition, why is there not a console version of it? You know, you've got the box, you've got all the goodies that go in it. Rather than having the PC version of the game in it, there's an Xbox version and a, and a PlayStation version. And there wasn't really a, 
an answer per se as to why not. They just they just had never done it. Now I know your your your, your console um, fanatics and and the you know will argue that's because giants only care about PC players. Like, that's not true. I, having spoken to them, I know that's not the case. But it's one of those weird things. I, I couldn't understand why, you know, when such a lot of your purchasing audience, you know, the people out there are console gamers, surely it would just make sense if you have a special edition, have it multi-platform. And I was really, really hoping when FS22 was announced, that when they announced the collector's edition there would be a console version and there hasn't been again this time it's only for pc now last time on fs19 one of my daughters bought me the collector's edition now at that point i didn't have a pc um, but i i wanted all the collector stuff that was in it there was a whole load of cool stuff that came in the collector's box so it's yeah i don't know it's a weird one so i when they tweeted it i tweeted just asked why isn't there a console version of this blimey Oh, it's like... Oh. <laughs> yeah, anyway, as you can imagine, it went down really well. And people saying, well, it won't work. Can't work on a console because it's a USB connection. We have USB connections on consoles. <laughs> my Logitech side panel works on my console. It's not, you know, I don't know. But it's something to think about, you know. I... I I, I, I like to give Giants the benefit of the doubt, always have done, and then having the chance to talk to the guys about a lot of various different things, you know, console related, I, I was very surprised when it happened again, you know, but I don't do their marketing, I don't, I don't know. and will I try and get a collector's edition? Probably, because like I say, I, I think collecting the goodies, the stuff that comes with it is fantastic. Now, anyway, sorry. It wasn't quite a rant, but it was... Yeah. <laughs> it's a fair point, I think. Not necessarily well made, but it was a fair point. Right, let's turn that on. I'm going to have to keep moving the belt, obviously, but because I didn't pack it too high, I wanted to spread it all out so I could... Um, compact it easier so yeah 585,000 litres the trailer has now been converted so the RYC 120 will hold 250,000 litres which means with a little bit of moving around here and there it's not going to take me too long now I've also been reliably informed again by Baron Papa who I'll be honest has been on here on Spectacle Island doing tons of kind of testing himself he's been out on the map and sends me messages with screenshots and stuff of things he's been testing things he's been looking at things he's been trying and it's great i really really appreciate that but apparently jim has in the update which i wasn't aware of this has been upgraded now it will take 120,000 liters before it stops stops you filling you know some have been 50,000 some are 70 on some maps it will go up to 100 so apparently 120,000 liters that'll take which is amazing so how are we going? Is that going to stop? It has stopped. So what we'll do, hop in there. Let's go that way to there and extend that out. Are we far enough out? We are. Yeah, so we should get a massive chunk of this. What I'll do is swing out to the edges so we get all of it in. And then what I'll probably do is swap over to... I mean, uh, the farming stuff is still continuing. Obviously, we've just fertilised field 10. Um, my fields are growing out from 1 to 4. So they're all... How are we looking? Sunflowers should be ready to harvest now. Oh, still not ready to harvest. Okay. I thought it would be by now. Oh, I changed it back to normal, didn't I? I didn't put it's not on fast growth. That's why it's taking a bit longer. So there's other things to do in between. I'm always kind of, and I've said this before, I'm, I'm always a bit torn between if you have it on fast because you want that quick rotation of fields, that's great. But if you've got other jobs to do as well and you want to add a bit more realism, you know, it's that kind of inverted commas realism. 
um, you slow the growth down and then you've got a, a slightly more realistic growth cycle, I suppose. Um, so we've got our canola in there. We did go with... Did I just go with wheat in there in the end? I did. Yeah, four's been harvested, so that's going to need to be sorted, and that's sunflower. So I've got to decide what I'm going to put in ten. Uh, seven's regrowing. When that's redone, we're going to go with hay on that, so we can do hay pellets, I think. That was quick. Okay, so what I'm going to do this time is... Let's, actually, I shouldn't have lowered that. Let's raise that up. Let's swing that around a bit. Because the belt itself, you can have the belt in two configurations, 6,000 litres or 12,000 litres, so the belt itself will hold 12,000 litres or thereabouts until it's full, which does actually also make life much easier. Uh, how much further can I extend that? There we go. Maybe I should have done it in two halves anyway, but regardless, we will get there. So I will see you in a moment when this is cleared. And so combinations of this, like I say, this is the um, SL8022 Quantum, part of that pack by Top Ace 888, and it works brilliantly. Combine that with these larger trailers now as well, and it does make doing biogas work a lot easier. But that's also the thing, you think forward, sorry, I'm kind of all over the place, but I'm very excited. <laughs> it's Father's Day, it's cool, I'm looking forward to it. My eldest daughter, who moved out recently, her and her boyfriend have invited us over for dinner, so the family are going there. And, yeah, it's lovely. It's, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm, I'm not normally... I always feel a bit awkward on Father's Day. I know it's Father's Day and Mother's Day, but it's that kind of, you know... Because the, the focus is on you. I know it sounds weird. I'm a YouTuber. I'm, you know, that's why I kind of... I want the focus on me, don't I? But I always feel a bit awkward, you know, that everyone's making a big fuss of, you, you know... I don't know. That's just me. I don't like a fuss being made, you know. Anyway. Um, yeah, about FS22. Thinking about, obviously when it comes out, we're back to zero again, aren't we? Everything resets. So it's that scary thing of all the cool equipment, all the mods, you know, for all everyone's, now there's, you know, the mods on console are rubbish. You know, like I said before, you go through and count up how many maps we've got on FS19 compared to 17. You go through and count the pages and pages and pages and pages of mods compared to FS17 on 19. And then we're going to hit FS22, and for the first however long, there's going to be nothing. All the stuff we've got used to using, you go on a Let's Play, I'll grab this, I'll grab that. Like I've got my list of my favourite mods that I'll grab. And like I said before, they're all small things, stuff from the CSZ pack, the standpipe for doing water for animals. There's little odds and ends that I'll grab every single Let's Play because they work well and I really like them. Everything gets, you know, zeroed, bomb, nothing, go again kind of thing. That is daunting as well as exciting because it kind of puts everyone back on a level playing field again and everyone's back to that. You've got to do the, you know, the farming with what you've got. You can't... You know what I mean? In my head it made sense. Anyway, I said, what was it, 10 minutes ago? I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> I really will. I promise. I'll leave you alone.
I have been down and I have leased the Primos for doing palleting, palletizing, um, palleting on the field. I don't know whether or not the tractor is going to have enough oomph to pull it. I hope so. My lorry will have. The problem is the lorry doesn't have a PTO. It has a trailer hitch, so it may hook up. But in the realms of would it work properly? No, it wouldn't. But some flowers are looking great. So while the biogas plant is chugging away, digesting um, what we've put into it so far, I did whiz off and grab the tanker. I put the tanker back, so that's sat by the digestate tank. So because I'm waiting for that to kind of chug through the gear, and once we've got enough for a full tank, uh, we will go and sell a load of digestate because it is another revenue stream. I thought what we'll do is in the meantime, we'll move on to this revenue stream and we'll see how we've gone. I don't know how many pellets we're going to get off this field with the straw sauce we've got. This will hold 9,700 litres and I'll grab the, probably grab the International, bring that down and then we'll see whether or not the hayloft will hold it. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't, but it does not to check. So we'll drop that down. Please work. Now, when I've used this before, I think I might have used it on Greenwich Valley because I had the palletizing hall and stuff, which was great. But I think I got to a point where one of the times I just took it out to the field and used it like this in the field. This is actually pulling it fine. I didn't think it would have enough horsepower, but I think we went for the super duper version of this, didn't we? That's, that's a technical New Holland term. <laughs> there's blue power and there's super duper, which, um, you know, I was just quite clearly an awesome piece of kit. Yeah, so what we need to do is wait for the next field to be ready. I'll harvest that. We'll do the straw swath on that as well. The problem is, do I want to lease this on another day? One day, when I'm older um, and I've got enough money, I might buy one of these. Not in real life, not in real life, in the game. And like I said, I want to get the pellet pelletizing hall. Palletizing hall. This does pelletizing, the hall does palletizing. We're going to palletize the pellets. I mean, it's doing all right. I, it's, I'm annoyed because I'd started bailing the field and as I got part way through bailing I know I said it on the, that whichever episode it was I suddenly thought oh what are you doing I was supposed to pelletise this so that's why half the field's already been cleared but again yeah, what can you do <laughs> make the best of, of what you've got yeah I really thought this was, would struggle but yeah we're looking good we are looking good are we going to get a full 9,700 litres off this? Possibly not. I thought we might, but I don't think we will. It's just another bit of kit to use in a different way. It's just a pity the pellet prices and stuff, after they did that update a while back, just tanked. Because it was brilliant, you know, you could come on in, you could do, you know, you put the time and the effort in because the equipment's not cheap. So you put the extra time in, you, you get the expensive equipment, whether it's a lease. I mean, it's like this was 16 grand to lease, it's not cheap to lease. And the payout at the end was worth it because the price of pellets was brilliant. And then they did their update and it, all the prices across the board were awful. And you think, okay, but then... You know, I'm doing this because I wanted to do a different process. I wanted to use a different bit of kit again that I haven't used for a while. But if you're doing this to make money, the amount you have to do to make anything is huge. Did I miss two? No, oh, it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, we're going to get more than one full tank, aren't we, I think? Just over, though. So I suppose what we need to do as well is check to see if anywhere buys these already. If not, we'll have to... Let's just stop there a second. Oh no, what am I doing? I meant to stop the thing and do the pickup, not stop the engine on the, on the track. I had a nightmare with the control side. Right, now turn the engine off. 
It's a very nice bit of kit. Creative Mesh are amazing, guys. They really are. Anyway, um, under placeables and miscellaneous. So the pellet sell point. We just only 500 to buy and place somewhere. So we'll place that on the map somewhere. But that one is it has to be on pallets because it's the I've done it again pallet sell point. So that was always there. So you would get more money for doing the palletizing, which was the incentive to do palletizing in the first place. But what we'll do now then is check our prices. Let's go along. Do we have anything for straw and hay pellets? Does anywhere take them? Yeah, see, the straw barn will take them. Four thirty, excuse me, <coughs> four thirty, and three eighty. And I'm pretty sure when I was on Greenwich Valley, I was getting well over a grand. I think at one point there was a great demand, and it went up to two thousand something on normal economy for pellets, which was just brilliant. So, yeah. It's one of those processes you stop and you think, is it worth the time, time and the effort? When you're doing sugar beet and potatoes and stuff like that, the prices are low like that, but you've got so much of it, that's how you make your money. With this, the conversion over isn't as great, I suppose. Which does be doesn't beg the question why not <laughs> For another revenue stream, that's why. At least that's what I'll keep telling myself. I miss just doing this. Not pelletizing specifically, but just, you know, just the, the, the mundane. There's something incredibly, I don't know. Last night, right, for example, I went out for dinner with my family. First time we've been out for a family dinner in, I can't remember how long, to a restaurant not far from us. Now, the restaurant, my, my, one of my twins is going out with a lovely lad called Dean. Fantastic bloke really really nice his dad owns a few restaurants and a pub or a couple of pubs and a few restaurants anyway we haven't met we hadn't met the parents you know it was that kind of it just hadn't with lockdown and all the other things it just hadn't happened so we were invited along to have dinner at his dad's restaurant which was fantastic it was, it was really lovely the place was amazing the food was phenomenal and um dean's mum is from ireland from County Mayo originally and Dean goes back the family's got a farm out there and he goes back every now and again for holidays and stuff and he said the thing about it is it is the middle of nowhere their farm he said it's about 15 20 minutes to the village if you want to go to hospital or something like that, you're talking an hour you know it's, he said there is nothing it's just the middle of nowhere there's something incredibly appealing about that you know even when I go away to the Lake District I'll take my PlayStation and I'll carry on working. Apart from that last holiday where I decided I wasn't going to and I was going to have a full, like I was going to have a proper break, which I did. And I'm pleased that I did. But going somewhere where it's kind of enforced, because there's, there's nothing else to do, you're, you're forced to have a break. But for it to be on a farm, for me, that would be bliss. I would just, I would love that. To be out of maybe help out or, you know, to learn to drive a tractor properly or, and to just go out and do a job like this like watching Clarkson's farm when he was doing his cultivating. I would happily sit in a tractor and go up and down a field cultivating. I would be blissfully happy. Um, and I know if, if it's your day job and it's what you do day in, day out. Now, why does that say... I thought it said 9,700. Did I misread that? I might well have done. Yeah, if it's your day job and you're doing it all the time, I might, you must get boring. You must get fed up. Yeah, that says 9,700 litres there. And I've got 9,000. Oh well. Let's back up. That's staying very straight. I was expecting to have to do a bit more... Um, 
controlled steering, but let's turn that off, lift that up. Let's, uh, what do we want to do? Pipe out? Yeah, this was one of those weird things. When I opened that, because I thought, yeah, I like to spin this. I thought there was a way. No, that's doing that. To raise and lower the pipe, and I'm sure I had this problem before with this, that I thought this could raise and lower. Sometimes it worked and sometimes it didn't. And I wasn't sure why. Because that's too... Yeah, that's too mirrors. I don't want to do that. Oh, never mind. Right, I need to get the international, and I'm just hoping the international will fit underneath that to unload it. Why is that pipe... Am I misremembering? I do this a lot. Anyway. International, here we come. Well, that's filled full done. Not as much as I thought I was going to get. Like I said earlier, should have got more, but that was my doing. I'm going to now see if this will go into the hayloft. If not, I'll, I can just put it down the ground somewhere. I'm sure it will do. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't. So there will be more pellets being done, and as I said, we are going to do hay pellets too. So potentially buying one of these things might be a better alternative. Now, Obviously, the biogas situation, it, it, it's all just chugging away at the moment. I'm, I will be checking back in, unloading more in, and just letting it run through its cycle. Once we've got enough digestate, like I said, a full 60,000 litres, no, 64,000 litres to put into the TARDIS trailer, we will whiz off and sell some, which is just up there at the slurry yard. We'll check this first, but what I can do, and I'm probably going to do off-camera now, I guess, yeah, probably, is I'll bring the New Holland up to the yard. I'll put the Primos to one side, just in case our field is ready to harvest sooner, then we can harvest it and get it done before midnight. That way I won't get clobbered for another day's leasing costs, potentially. But I need to go and seed field 10. And field four. Please work. Please, 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 please. Oh no. Oh. Oh. I wonder if it'll go into the regular silo. I wouldn't have thought so. It's worth a check just in case. If not, I'll put a pile on the floor. Like I said, if I had the, if I had the palletizing hall already, I would just be taking these and tipping these into the, the container of the palletizing hall. But I haven't got enough money yet. Nope. Right, what I'm going to do is leave them in the back of the trailer, for, in, the back of the tra in the back of the international for the time being. Because if we do to get to harvest some more, I can continue to fill this up. It's as good a place as any to store any. What I'm going to do is park this in the barn. That way, if it does pour with rain, straw pellets won't go soggy. That'll do. Harvest needs to go away. Now that's been jet washed and repaired. Nothing's ready to harvest yet. No, don't want to unfold that. I want to lift it. Uh, yeah, I'll stick it back where it, where it was originally.
Now, the question is, am I seeding or planting? What am I putting in the ground? What I need to do is check my supplies. What have we got? What have we got already in storage? 40,000 litres of wheat, 36,000 litres of barley, a little bit of oats. We've got a little bit of canola, but we've got a whole field of canola to do, 22,000 litres. Sunflower, we've got an entire field to clear. So although we've got 9,471 at the moment, corn, we've got 84,000. The pigs will use a lot more corn than anything else. Potatoes a little bit, sugar beet, 162,158, no problem. We've got a little bit of sugar cane, that's what you started with. So, do we do an oat field? Should we do oats? Sorry, it's only horses that eat them. Pigs don't eat oats, do they? It's not particularly, well, I say it's not a cash crop. The boat unloading station is paying 1,452 for 1,000 litres at the moment, which is a pretty good price. For oats, could do oats, couldn't I? Haven't done them yet, so what we'll do is we'll grab the cedar. We'll do oats, right? I'm going to get the New Holland. I'm going to get that going. I will see you in a little while now. Hopefully, it's going to be raining, is it? It's bound to be. Oh yeah. We scroll back across to our digest date. You'll see that our digest date is going up still. We've got 35,000 liters and climbing. As soon as we hit 64, we'll get a full load. I suppose we have got 4,556 litres already, but that's got to be... Where's that going to be stored? Not sure. I need to clean the feed areas. I'll go around and do that later. Eggs are going well in the egg pallet. Wool's going well in the wool pallet. Milk production, everything's going great over there. Our animals are looking okay. Right. Fields are growing. A brief respite until I start seeding again. I am currently over at field 10. I am just <clears throat> trying to get myself a rectangle. Or at least something fairly straightforward that a worker can manage to do without driving into the ocean, which is a concern here. There are parts of this quite close to the edge where you know what AI workers are like. You know, your worker is stuck on an object or, and then you come over and find it's, yeah, plunged into the ocean. Not good. So yeah, we'll just set this up. I could have been fertilising at the same time. Well, um, could I? Because I just fertilised it. It seems to be a bit weird, a bit hit and miss with the fertilisers. I was always under, always under the impression that if you're sowing first, the fertilising is done after, so it would be okay. But then every time I've tried to do it, it doesn't. So I'm then wasting fertiliser. It doesn't change the fertilising state, but it's still using the fertiliser. So that's another reason why I tend to do them in separate operations. Depends what order you do or you're, or you're prepping. So, uh, yeah, everything's still chucking away at the biogas plant. Everything's great. Once this is done, I'll get the um, the foremost back over here with the fertiliser. We'll get a second fertilising done on this. I was really impressed, I'd say, going and doing, doing the map tour on American Life Farming by Lancy Boy the other day. If you haven't watched it, it should be on the playlist of first look at map tours it's a really nice map I, I i actually personally prefer it to stone valley and i liked stone valley and i really enjoyed that let's play it on there but this for me personally is a better map I, i'd like it but he's got his put anhydrous on there so you can do your fertilizer in so many different ways obviously with you know manure and slurry and digestate and liquid fertilizers and solid fertilizers you know all, all, the, all the various different ways you can do it but putting anhydrous on does it give us anything new in so much as well, it's another fertilising, you know, another way to fertilise, but it's just cool to have something different, you know, to, to go off and get anhydrous rather than, and I, and I say cool as in within the realms of the game before everyone starts having a go at me about pollution and farmers causing problems and, you know, all that aside, regardless how you feel about chemical fertilising and that kind of thing, I think to have that in game, it's cool, it's a good map, it's, yeah, if you haven't had a look, check it out. 
even if you don't check out my map tour, but check out the map itself. It's a good map with some cool features and stuff like that. So, yeah, uh, this is going to continue um, with a worker on, as we've got now. I'm going to go back over to biogas plant, check there. I'm just going to keep an eye on what we're looking at. 53,700 climbing 53,000 litres of digestate and climbing as soon as we hit 64 we'll have a full load to take and sell the price is like i say it's still falling but anything over what you normally get if you're selling digestate it's gonna be pretty good i was hoping the price would be on the green and climbing but we'll have loads more to sell it would just be the first load just of, as a proof of concept i think you see what i mean when a worker gets to here and you've got quite a wide turning circle, if you're doing that at the edge of the field right here, that just spells disaster to me. It's 11.14. Field 10 has been sown, sowed, seeded, and it's now been fertilised. The foremost I took up, that's now being done with a worker too as you can see massive amount has gone out of here there's only how much left in here 76,500 still a fair amount i suppose uh 39 liters that is processing away quite happily but it's deceptive because obviously that's got 250,000 liters in it so you know still got a lot that being said tanker we have now got 69,577 liters and climbing of digestate engine on let's fill up and then we'll head over to we are going back over to here where we went to zone propane for the other day we're going to slurry yard to sell our slurry i'm wondering what the price is showing now how much low is it going to be okay it's not too bad it's still over a thousand Taking a little while to fill up. I suppose what I could have done. Oh yeah, never thought of that. I could have driven. You know what? Stop there. Let's test out the new system. I was going to say I could have driven the tanker up to the yard because I can pipe this digestate up to the main yard. So I could have driven this up empty, up the the rocky sort of steep bit, up to the yard and filled up there. So we've got nearly. Well, yeah, just over half, aren't we? So we'll do the other half up there. That way we get to use the new pipe system too. And why not? I've just been... <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this out loud. Um, I've just been given a gift from my my daughters that are living at home. Um, <laughs> there's been a thing going on with myself and my brother for years. Right? And our kids over various times have bought you know, Crocs. Do you know Crocs? Those kind of rubberized shoe type clog type things and we've always just berated them and just they're awful things you know that kind of thing last time i went to see my brother um one of his daughters they have like holes across the front of them there are these new things you can get all different like almost like charms sort of things you, you kind of pop onto them so you can kind of customize your crocs for you you know which was quite cool but we still kind of berated the crocs they bought me a pair of crocs and they've got little tractor things on them little tractor charm things on them now after all my years of berating they said look they're perfect for taking the dog in the garden you know you haven't got to then put a pair of shoes on and put the deck out there but you can take the dog out and you can just slip them on and i put them on they are so comfortable <laughs> how old am i i feel really old um they are very comfortable so yeah it's one of those very weird situations situation having been so mean about them for so long not the kids that i mean yeah i do that but and they wrote some lovely things in the card yeah so i can access the rest from here so i can do it down there or up here it's up to me if i'm going to do runs backwards and forwards the slurry yard it makes more sense to fill it up from here than going all the way back down to the biogas plant every time so that's what we'll do that seems absolutely perfect my discord um is beeping away <clears throat> I don't, again, I don't have a Discord server myself. I'm on Discord. I'm on other people's servers. And I follow a whole load of different, you know, various different things. But uh, I don't have my own Discord server. I'm just talking to Jim, actually. 
it literally just popped up with a message from Jim. He's retexturing um, um, vehicle shaders on the boat, the down the bottom. Um, he said, because I, I asked, he, I said the, he sent me a picture and I said it looks great, was there something wrong with the original boat? And he said that the texture was a bit low res when he was looking close at it. So he's changed the textures and now he's saying he might add some lights to it as well. So potentially we could add an update to the boat at some point. I don't know if I'm supposed to be saying that out loud. I don't think that's a massive trade secret, but... Hey, as it happens, it's like breaking news. It literally just popped up. So, next field to sort out is going to be field four. I'll get... Whoa, I'll get that planted. That was close. I'll get that seeded or planted. I'm thinking I might just do more canola. If I'm going to go down the route of feeding the pigs canola. So they have corn, canola and a root crop which we've got sugar beet I might do some potato at some point I haven't really decided there either and then other crops will be sellable right where am I going to oh just here and bearing in mind this is a byproduct so on top of I think the biogas plant pays 720 for a thousand litres of uh, silage so at midnight we're going to get a nice payout should all be processed by there we go and the digestate you can use as your fertiliser or if you've got a sale point somewhere you can often sell it. So this is just a nice bonus really. I'm not going to use it as a as a fertiliser so might as well sell it and make a bit of, bit of money on the side. Why not? Again, more revenue. So another revenue stream. We've got the silage, we've got the digestate. You know, we're doing all different things. Propane and fuel and gold which, you know, technically not a revenue stream. Although I am still fascinated to find out what Farmer Marnie is doing with regards to gold production. A gold production pack. How do you produce gold? Is it something, is it going to be like a mine or you have to take supplies or something to it and you get, I, I don't, incredibly curious. It'll be amazing. Now this will recover a little bit of my, my losses. I did a propane run off camera because of, I don't know, I mentioned it on the mod review, the RYC120 that I've upgraded to the large capacity that we're using down the biogas plant, that had an update for the large capacity. When I came back onto here, 73 grand for a byproduct. Nice. Um, it had gone, the trailer had vanished, um, so the update had obviously removed it, and it happens sometimes when mods get updated, you come onto your map and they're gone, so I was trying to rebuy it. Now I had a couple of choices, I could have put on a, uh, a government subsidy sign, skip through time to the next hour, and I thought, oh, I suppose I could have done that, it's as long as it's short. So all I did was grab this tanker, did a propane run, and it wasn't quite enough to cover it, I think that's why when I left on the last episode it was on 257,000 and when I came back on this one it was 254. So in doing a propane run and then replacing my trailer I lost about four grand in the process. Something like that, three, four grand. Which isn't the end of the world. But with that everything is ticking over. Everything is tickety-boo. It's all very good here on Spectacle. I'm very happy. I am going to leave you. If you're watching this today Enjoy the rest of your Father's Day. If you're a mother, just enjoy your day. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.